Hey friends, Patrick here and welcome to this tutorial about file uploads with Blazor SSR. Yes, static server side rendering. So how would you upload any file with static server side rendering, meaning no interactivity or interactive render mode like Blazor server or WebAssembly or the auto mode for that. Let's real quick create an SSR project. So we choose the Blazor web template. Uh, let's call this Blazor SS or SSR file upload like that and you see here dotnet 8 it is no authentication and no interactive render mode and there are actually two ways to do that and the first one would be using an edit form with the input file component of blazer the built-in stuff or we choose the classic form element with an input file html elements in the end. So these are our two options and you can use both really with SSR, but there are one or two little things you have to pay attention or where you have to pay attention. So let's do that one step after another. And I suggest we just grab the homepage here and create already our upload form. So the first one, maybe the classic edit form. All right. So here, we do it like that and you know that this thing needs a model. So let's add the code block here real quick. And in here, I already want to create a class for our model. And let's just call this file model for instance. And this thing now gets only one property and this is an I form file or the type is the I form file. We call this file and this is a property. So we add the getter and the setter like that. And now we add this thing here as well. So for instance, file model, call this file input, also a property. So this thing will be used in our form here. So we set the model to file inputs and now since we're using SSR we also have to add a form name to this edit form. So form name upload file edit form for instance and here we add the supply parameter from form uh, attribute and I already also specify the name here the form name because we will also add the uh, classic form HTML element so we have two forms on this page and for that then we have to specify the form for the uh, parameters because we will add another parameter parameter than for the other form so many forms and parameters all right so here now uh, form name is the upload file edit form like that. All right. Now in here, we first can already add our input file component. We add a class so it looks a tiny bit better, maybe form control like that. And we can actually already close this thing. And here now our submit button. So button type submit and maybe also make this a bit more visually appealing. So button primary and maybe a margin to top. And here we say upload like that. All right. Now the next thing is a method, right? Because in this current state, nothing will happen. So here now we add the on submit parameter. And for that, we add a function like upload file, for instance. And of course, this does not exist. So let's create this thing real quick with async task and then upload file like that. All right. So let's have a quick look how this might look now. There we are. We're getting an error. Edit form requires either a model parameter. Yep. This thing here is null. So maybe we can already fix it like that and just turn yep there it is all right so now you see there's already our control this is nice right so we can choose a file for instance here we can set this thing hit upload and then again we get an error so something is not working here so again there are some pitfalls some things you have to consider uh, when using the classic edit form now the first thing is we have to set a type like that so here now we set multi part and then form data. All right. So this is the thing 
that enables us to use the input file component here in our edit form. And the other thing that is really important, you see we have no a classic bind value, for instance, right? So when you have an input text component, for instance, and want to bind it to a certain variable, a certain value, then you use bind at bind value. So something like that, at bind and then value. And here you would then set, for instance, the file input file would make sense kind of right but in this case this is different so here now you set the name and choose file input file right so this is our model this thing here and this is the file that we're going to use here inside of that edit form so we have set now the type and also the name of that thing and now let's have another look. It's restarting. Has it already restarted? Let's see. We choose a file again. Open, upload. Nothing happened, but we do not get an error. All right. So this means now currently this thing, this control or this component is in a state that enables us to really upload the file already. Right. So the two pitfalls are really to set the type here and here set the name for the file you want to upload. All right, and now regarding the actual upload file method, let's do the following. We first decide or define uh, the folder path, all right? So again, in my case, this is simply uh, some folder on my hard disk like Blazor files, for instance, and when you publish that then to a server, right, it's a pretty much the same thing. You store this on the disk or in the cloud in a specific space. So there you have to pay attention, of course, but for this little example, developing this locally, I think this is totally sufficient. The next step would be the actual file path. And here we use path combine again, but this time with the folder path and then the file input and then file and then the file name. All right, next step, we create the directory. So directory, create directory. And this would then be again the uh, folder path like that. And we're almost done. Now we create a stream. So await using var stream, which is a new file stream with the file path like that and file mode is set to create and it says it here initializes a new instance of the file stream class for the specified file handle with the specified read write permission. All right, so we create a file and in the end we copy uh, the file to the stream. So now this would be file input file copy to async and then the stream. And as you can see here, it says asynchronously copies the contents of the uploaded file to the target stream. And we're done. All right, let's test that now. So as you can see here, Blazor files is empty. All right, so now let's go back to the page. We choose the Hawaii Cove. We hit upload something happened, all right, you have no feedback, of course, we can improve that. But there it is. Now here is the image. So upload worked perfectly. Great. So this is one way. And the other way now the classic form, maybe this is everything you need, you don't want to fill around with an extra model, you just want to use uh, a file, an I form file, so it's not really necessary for you. But if you have, for instance, in that form, it's bigger, you have uh, input text, text area, stuff like that and the file is just part of it, then maybe it makes sense to use the edit form and then you add your model for that. But let's now assume you only have one file to upload. So here again, we then add the iform file. It could be null actually as a file like that. All right, and again, we add this attribute here and let's just call this upload file form. So this is the thing that we will use now and instead of the edit form, let me maybe just uncomment this thing. And then here we do the following. We have a form, all right? 
method here is post. But again, we have to set the type. So here now, and here it's already suggested, it's not text plain, it's multi-part form data. All right, now again, the form name, we kind of already gave this thing a form name. So this is this thing, upload file form, like that. And on submit, we again use the upload file method. And maybe I can put this into a new line so we can read it better. All right, so that's that. And now we need an input element. Type here is file. And again, we have to set the name. And this name has to match that name here, all right? So this now lowercase is fine, is class. So for instance, if this thing is called file one, then here you also have to set this to file one, all right? One more pitfall for you here. Again, we can set the class to form control like that. And we are actually done. And the next thing is again, the button. So let me just copy this thing, put it here. And again, if you want to use both forms, make sure to use different names here and use the uh, attributes supply parameter from form. Now I uncommented this, this thing. So I think this is fine. This is our form. That's it. Now we have to change the the uh, the method here a little bit because it's actually not about the file input. It's just the file here and here as well. And this should be it, I guess. All right, no null check. So maybe we can add this in a second. But let's just see if this is enough. And I had not have any typo in there. All right, let's remove the cove here. And here we're back. Let me just reload this thing. And now we choose this file again, hit upload. And it says, oh yeah, this is what I totally forgot. Why didn't you tell me guys, the anti-forgery token. This is important. We need that in every classic form. So let's try that one more time. Restart, there we are. Choose file, open, upload, something happened. And there it is. Isn't that nice? Beautiful image, I think. And now last thing, maybe we add a little bit of user feedback. So what we can do is we can just add a result message like string result message, something like that maybe, and also put it here. So span slim, simply the result message. Now let's just uh, move that into a try block like that. And here now we catch this thing, exception X. So if something happens, we just say the result message is now our exception message. And here, I just want to check if file is null, then we throw a new exception with file not found, for instance. And here we say result message upload successful. All right, something like that. Let's try that one more time. Okay, this was submitted again. Now let's remove the image like that. And we now hit upload, you see file not found. All right, so the exception was thrown, we see the message here. But now when I say, I really have a file here, I upload it, I see upload successful. And there it is again. Perfect. So that's how all that works. Uploading a file with Blazor SSR. So you don't really need an interactive render mode, even with the edit form. It's all possible with static server-side rendering. I hope you liked it and learned something. If so, guys, you know the drill. Hit the like button, please, and maybe subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. This means the world to me and really helps making all these videos. Thank you to all my patrons for all your support. I love every single one of you. And don't forget to check out the .NET Web Academy for even more .NET and Blazor stuff. Link as always in the video description. I hope I see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.